Hi guys and welcome to another chip technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to look at the beginnings of using Node Red on the chip. So Node Red is a JavaScript environment that one uses to visually build Internet of Things flows. So uh, it's, 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 it's harder to describe than it is to show, but the, the high level is that when we install Node-RED, we can bring up a browser and we get little building blocks that we can wire together. Now the starting of a building block is, or the start of one of these things called a flow, is an input source which may be a change in a GPIO pin, it may be a network request, it may be a file change, it may be a button press, it may be any kind of uh, external event or chip triggered piece of technology that, uh, that, that we care about. And then when that happens that triggers an instance of the flow and control passes from one node to another where these nodes can perform data transformations, lookups, writes to databases, transformation of content which can culminate in one or more output nodes where data is then transmitted to something else. So for example this node at the beginning might be a web input where it, uh, a browser request arrives and causes this node to change. We go through some transformation and this node here might be for example changing the signal level of a GPIO pin or triggering an I squared C bus device or who knows what. Now you put all that together you can now communicate via an incoming browser request transformation to light up your light bulb or switch on a relay or, or other interesting kind of things. Now to get this ball rolling uh, you need to have node.js previously installed. So there was a previous video on installing node.js and in this video we're going to focus on installing node.red to the point where it's up and running and we can see a window. So let's get started. So here we have a basic chip terminal and I'm going to make a directory called uh, node.red and change into the node.red folder nothing in there. Now I'm going to run npm install uh, node red. Now node red would normally have us install in the root directory but I like to install npm packages locally at least until I am familiar with their operation. I don't want to clutter my global environment so by installing npm locally like this it's going to be available only to this user in this directory but we run the npm install node red command and now npm is installing node red. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. It takes a few minutes for npm to install uh, node red. So we'll take a watch up at the clock at the top here and I'll come back once it's installed. Alrighty, now after a period of time uh, the node red has installed and we're now ready to go ahead and start the node red environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my terminal window back here again, run the ls command, we see we have a directory called node underscore modules, cd into node underscore modules, run the ls command, we find that we've got a directory called node red, cd into node red and in here we have a file called red.js. Now if I run node red.js what that will do is that will start the node red runtime. So this is now running on chip and it's starting an instance of the node red daemon. Now once node red is up and running we can then connect a browser to it and start programming, start building the flows which are going to run on it. And we see here Node Red is now running on this port, or rather this server and this port. And if I bring in a browser and open a browser window to um let's see uh, chip two colon eighteen eighty and that takes us to our Node Red environment. Now this web page is being served by Node Red itself and in further videos we're going to go through the details of these components but for now let's just test it out, bring in an inject activity, 
bring in a debug activity. I'm looking for my debug activity, which is hiding here somewhere. Hiding here, so of course, right there. Right there. Bring in a debug activity. Why are these two together? Deploy this to the Node Red runtime. Switch over to the debug perspective and send in an instance of that request. And it's sending in a timestamp. And that is all we need to do. So I've now demonstrated that we have installed Node Red. Uh, we install it as an npm package. We run node red.js to start an instance of it up, and then we bring up our browser connecting to the port number on our chip of 1880, and from there we can start building our flows. And as I say, in subsequent uh, 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 tutorial videos, we're going to go through many of these different activities here, such as receiving input from HTTP and MQTT and the file system and serial data, and then outputting to different places and all kinds of different good Node-RED goodness. But for now, your first challenge is simply to get Node-RED installed up and running and get it to this point. I hope you found some use in this video, and I look forward to making more chip technical tutorials in the future. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.